Interesting Dog Breed Facts About the Australian Terrier The Australian Terrier is a small, short-legged breed which originated in England. It is a good example of a terrier-type dog. They are also known as bully dogs due to the fact that they are extremely aggressive and territorial. In addition, they are very loyal and protective towards family members. They love to play fetch and chase balls. However, if left alone for too long, the Australian Terrier will get bored and start digging up gardens. This is why it's important to give the dog plenty of exercise. Although the Australian Terrier is usually considered a medium-sized dog, its height ranges from 15 to 17 inches. Its weight may vary between 25 and 35 pounds. There are two different types of coats, short-coated and long-coated. The coat color can be white, red, or black. However, they are mostly solid colors. The head, ears, eyes, chest, and feet should all have a tan appearance. 1. What is an Australian Terrier? An Australian Terrier, also known as an Aussie, is a small dog breed that originated in Australia. The first dogs of this type were bred by settlers in the 19th century. There are many different breeds of these small, energetic, working type dogs. Some of the most popular include the Australian Cattle Dog, the Bulldog, and the Pekingese. This article will give you a brief overview of the history of the Australian Terrier, its characteristics, and how to care for it. Australia was settled by British colonists in 1788. As a result, the country became a part of the United Kingdom and remained so until 1901. After that, the area was divided into two separate countries, New South Wales and Queensland. During World War II, the government decided to import some Aussies from England. In fact, the first batch came from a breeder in London named William Moore. The Australian Terriers are very active, playful, and intelligent. They love being with people, but they also enjoy spending time alone. Because of their high energy level, you should keep them away from other pets. They can be destructive if left unattended. If you want to know more about this breed, then keep watching. 2. History of the Australian Terrier When you're looking for information on the history of your dog, you have to be careful to make sure that you get reliable sources. This is especially true when you're dealing with an animal like the Australian Terrier. The truth is, the breed was developed by the English, who were interested in creating a smaller version of the Bulldog. However, the Australian Terrier didn't become popular until after World War II. Since then, the breed has continued to grow in popularity. Today, there are more than 2 million dogs of this type in North America alone. The first thing you need to know is that the Australian Terrier is a working dog. He's used for hunting and herding purposes. But you shouldn't let that fool you into thinking that he doesn't also enjoy being around people. In fact, many of these dogs are great companions. The second thing you should keep in mind when you're reading up on the history of the Australian Terrier is to look for the facts. You don't want to find yourself getting inaccurate information that could lead to problems down the road. 3. A quick overview of the Australian Terrier. If you're looking to adopt a dog, then like the video. This is a guide that explains how you should go about finding the right type of dog for you. When you start thinking about adopting a new pet, you need to know the basics. For example, you'll want to make sure that your potential dog will fit into your lifestyle. You also have to consider whether you'd like to get a male or female puppy. It's important to remember that you don't necessarily have to look for a specific breed of dog. However, if you do decide to choose a particular one, then you can read up on the various breeds. You may also find it helpful to take a trip to an animal shelter so that you can meet some dogs in person. If you're worried that you won't be able to afford to buy your own dog, you could always visit an adoption center instead. As long as you pay attention to the above points, then you'll end up with a great companion for life. In order to help you find a good home for your new dog, here are three things that you should keep in mind. 4. 
What makes the Australian Terrier special? An Australian Terrier is a dog breed that originated in Australia. The first recorded breeding of an Australian Terrier took place in 1874. Since this time, the breed has become very popular. When you look at the Australian Terrier, you'll notice that it's a medium-sized dog. This means that it will have the size and body structure of a small to large dog. However, the most important thing to know about the Australian Terrier is its temperament. If you want to learn more about the characteristics of the breed, then keep watching. The Australian Terrier is a friendly and affectionate dog. It loves to be with people, but it also likes to spend time alone. You can tell how much the dog enjoys spending time by looking into his eyes. If you're thinking about getting an Australian Terrier, then there are several things that you need to consider. For example, you should make sure that you get a puppy from a reputable breeder. Also, you should think about whether or not your family is ready for a new pet. You may also wonder why the Australian Terrier has such a reputation as a good watchdog. In fact, this type of dog is known to be extremely loyal and protective. 5. The Australian Terrier's Health A lot of dog owners don't know that their pets have certain diseases. If you want to be sure that your pet is healthy, you should take them to the vet. But, what exactly does the veterinarian look for when he examines a dog? Check out the links in the description to learn more. When you bring your puppy into the veterinary clinic, the first thing that the doctor will do is check its eyes. This is important, since it's possible for dogs to get eye infections from other animals. Next, the vet will examine the dog's teeth. When a dog has problems with his teeth, it can cause him pain and discomfort. After that, the veterinarian might also check the ears. Dogs who are prone to ear infections usually have trouble hearing. Finally, the veterinarian will listen to the heart. A dog whose heart isn't beating properly could possibly suffer from a serious illness. If your dog has any of these symptoms, then you need to visit the vet right away. Six. The Australian Terrier's Temperament If you own an Australian Terrier, then this video is just right for you. This dog breed was originally bred to be used as a hunting partner. However, today, they have become popular pets. If you want to know more about the history of the Australian Terrier, read on. This dog breed comes from Australia. When it first arrived in America in 1885, it became known by its original name, the New Zealand Terrier. But in 1886, the American Kennel Club renamed the dog, the Australian Terrier. Today, the Australian Terrier is one of the most common breeds in the world. And while they are small dogs, they still make excellent companions. Here are some facts that you should know about the Australian Terrier. One. The average height of an adult male Australian Terrier is between 16 and 19 inches. Females typically reach a size of 15 to 17 inches. 2. The coat of this dog is short, dense, and flat. It's also double coated with soft undercoats. 3. Their tail can grow to a length of about 9 inches. 4. They have a good sense of smell. 5. They are intelligent and trainable. 6. The Australian Terrier loves playing fetch. 7. Where to find the Australian Terrier? If you're looking for a dog that is friendly, playful, loyal, and loving, then you might want to consider getting an Australian Terrier. This breed of dogs was originally bred in Australia, but they can be found all around the world today. There are many different breeds of this type of dog, so you'll need to make sure that you choose one that will fit your lifestyle. In order to get the most out of owning a pet like this, you should start by choosing an appropriate home for them. If you have a large yard, then you can keep an Australian Terrier there. However, if you live in a condo or apartment, then you may need to find another option. You also need to take into account how much time and energy you are willing to devote to taking care of your new friend. You don't want to spend your entire day walking the dog, or else you won't enjoy it very much. 
If you're ready to adopt an Australian Terrier, then you'll find that these dogs are easy to train. In fact, they love being taught tricks, such as sitting, fetching, or jumping through hoops. 8. Training Tips for the Aussie Terrier When you have an Australian Terrier puppy, you should be aware that this breed is very active. This means that you need to make sure that they get enough exercise, so that their muscles don't become weak. If you want your dog to stay healthy and strong, then you'll need to train them properly. Here are some helpful tips. If you're planning on taking your dog to a park, then you will need to take him with you. Otherwise, he might end up getting into trouble. You can also teach your pet to walk calmly on a leash by using treats. When you give your dog his reward, you should praise him. You shouldn't leave your dog unattended for long periods of time. If you do, then you could end up having problems in the future. This is because it's easy to accidentally step on your dog or even knock him down. In addition, if you let your dog run around the house, then there is a chance that you'll find yourself cleaning up after him. This is something that most people would rather avoid. So, it's important to keep an eye on your pets at all times. 9. Popular Breeds of the Aussie Terrier If you're looking to adopt an Australian Terrier puppy, you might be wondering where to look. You can easily get your hands on one from an animal shelter, but you should know that there are other options available. For example, many breeders will sell their puppies online so you could always go to a reputable website. You can also search for the breed in person at local dog shows. This means that you'll have to travel to the show, however, and it's important that you take this into consideration. If you want to make sure that you get the best deal possible, you need to research each option thoroughly before making any decisions. Here are some of the most popular breeds of the Aussie Terrier. Don't forget to check out the links in the description.